Hello, beautiful family, lovers of goatings, lovers of important personnel all over the globe. I bring greetings from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I just can't thank you enough. So, my realistic people, today, this is an update from Mazin Abdekanu. You know, a lot of things has been circulating about him being poisoned in DSS dungeon. And the DOS, they were saying it and a lot of things, a lot of things happening. It led to a point whereby Mazina, the Kanu's family were unable to handle the situation, were able to handle the rumor and they busted debunking the issue that Mazina, the Kanu is not poisoned in DSS dungeon, that though he is sick, he need medical attention, but they didn't think that he's poisoned and all that. In fact, this thing has been risked saga on the internet so you know that yesterday i made a video where i said that a uh, barrister mike ezekome intrude in the issue and say that Buhari need to release Mazenam the Kanu. They didn't see anything that is wrong. The court have already said discharge and acquitted. They don't know why Muhammad Buhari is still holding Mazenam the Kanu because as far as they are concerned, they now know that there is nobody holding Mazenam the Kanu apart from Muhammad Buhari. So the reasons are well known to him. And yesterday being the 30th day of January 2023, Mike Ezekome could not bear the rumor or the problem twingling on social media. He just have to do the needful and visit Mazenab Dekanu and hear for himself. Now hear the news in details. And this update is coming to you from Prince Kanu. Mazina the Kanu's younger brother. On a return visit to see Mazina the Kanu today at the DSS, I went in the company of my Ezekume Sam. Mazina the Kanu complained of several years. Yes, say Mazina the Kanu complained to them because the first day that he went to visit Mazina the Kanu before this particular visit. That was the one he went last week, Thursday, before this particular visit of yesterday. He said, Mazenam the Kanu complained about his ear. Meanwhile, it has been noted for a very long time that Mazenam the Kanu needs urgent medication. In fact, I can still remember when uh, Simon Ekpa was talking about the head of Mazenam the Kanu. It did not go well. So right now, we are still expecting again the wife of Mazenam the Kanu because I think that his voice is loud enough. They will still hear him, hear her very well. We are still expecting to see the wife of Mazenam the Kanu making a broadcast about the health condition of Mazenam the Kanu because the last interview was granted the about the health of Mazenam the Kanu. He said that Mazenam the Kanu is fit, strong, and courageous even stronger than someone that is working freely in nigeria i think that this is another opportunity again for the wife to come and also tell the world that this is what is going on with my husband is having a problem in the ear and so many others and we continue he said he complained about the ear discomfort which came about as a result of the intense torture mentored on him in kenya before he was extraordinarily reditioned he mentioned the dss have constantly denied him all medical aspects to go for ear checkup and possibly surgery he also mentioned the persistent stomach upset this is the same update from barrister ifani asia for that Mazenab the Kanu is sick and all that. We've heard this for a very long time. But according to Barista, I find it for the surprising thing is that he said when Mazenab the Kanu went for shake up November, the daughter told Mazenab the Kanu that from that November to 45 days, listing on, he said from that November to 45 days. If Mazenam the Kanu, the pains in the ears or the stomach upset did not relieve him, that means he needs immediate surgery. And it's more than 45 days 
since that particular result from the daughter. So how come we are just hearing this for the first time? Anyways, this is the update from Mazenab the Kanu. And Mazenab the Kanu also sent message to everyone that is consigned. So he said, those who front the orders of IPOB would have themselves to blame soonest. It does not matter your position. Order is an order and must be followed, he said. Let me go again. These are the word to word of Mazenam the Kanu. He said, those who front the orders of IPOB would have themselves to blame soonest. It doesn't matter your position. Order is order and must be followed, he said. <laughs> this is another breaking news. Mazinab Dikanu said, those who front the order of IPOB, they will get themselves to blame soonest because order is order and it doesn't matter your position it doesn't matter if you've sacrificed a lot in this biafra struggle order is order and it must be obeyed and he said soonest and a lot of biafras were saying that the people that front the order of mazenam the can they are the dos remember when a memo was released by barrister Aloy Ejemako when he said that Mazena Dekanu said someone should step down and another person should take position. Do you know the DOS? They refused. They said, no, that order is not what they are going to work with. They are working with their own order. Being that the, the news is not brought to them by the right source. That is a complaint. So they don't want to list it to anything from Barista Aloy Ejimako. The only information they want to list it to all the lawyers that they intend to listen to work with talk with is barista if i is your fault so the question here before every one of us is that who are the people that front the order of mazi in the canoe you know fully well that a lot of people said they are not taking any uh information or any order for mazina the canoe as far as mazina the canoe is still in dss dungeon but that order is very very different okay so when you say that simon ekpa said is not taking order from mazina the canoe is different order and this order from ipob family like imposition of their executive is also a different order entirely so my country people i have this to tell you that mazi simon Ekpa is working very very strongly for the restoration of biafra so when he made the statement and said this is not taking order from mazenab the canoe is different case so i have to clear your dab so you should not say oh and eh, what about simon Ekpa that refused to take order from mazenab the canoe the order simon Ekpa is talking about is different from the executive order so because the task that he gave to simon ekma is different from the executive task that is what a lot of people do not understand he didn't say simon ekma should come and take over dos or take over shika dezemo but he said simon ekma should come and broadcast on radio biafra is different you can see that it's different so these are things that we need to to start seeking into our head that the order Mazina the Kanu is talking about is different from the order that Simon Epa is uh, talking about. Executive order and this Biafra restoration order. Okay, because he knows very well that Simon is capable of this evangelism. That is why he gave him that tax. So the tax he gave to Simon is different from what uh, Chika Dezebu is doing. It's two different order. It's two different um, accommodative um, executive, okay? So thank you so much for listening. Do well to share this video, like and subscribe. Thank you and bye-bye.